Solve this system of equations. x squared equals 5 plus y. y squared equals 5 plus x. Okay, what shall we do? At the very first step, now. We notice that squares appear on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we have x and y. So if we meet squares, we have to think of the factorization of a difference of two squares. So now, I like to subtract the second one from the first one. Now we can get x squared minus y squared is the left hand side, and the right hand side is 5 plus y minus 5 minus x, so it is y minus x. Bring everything to the left hand side, so it is this. And now, factorize. It's x minus one times x minus y times x plus y, then plus x minus y equals zero. So now we can take out take this out. It is x minus y times in the bracket it is x plus y plus here we have one. Now very happy why. Since we have a product on the left hand side and zero on the right hand side. So, two possibilities. First one if x minus y equals zero. If this one equals zero, so that means x equals y, they're equal. Then, substitute the relationship to the first equation, then we can get x squared equals 5 plus x. Now it is only a quadratic equation about x, very easy and simple to solve. x squared minus x minus 5 equals 0, and by using the quadratic formula. x12 are negative b is 1 plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. That is, b squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. That is 1 plus 20. So that is 21. Then over 2 times 8 is 2. So now we can get two pairs of solutions of x, y. Either they're both 1 plus square root of 21 over 2, or they're both 1 minus square root of 21 over 2. We also have our second case, if this one equals 0, x plus y plus 1 equals 0. Then, we can get x equals negative 1 minus y. Substitute this into our original equation. y squared equals 5 minus 1 minus y, so y squared plus y minus 4 equals 0. Again, a quadratic equation about y. y is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2, or negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2. For the first one, x is just minus 1 minus this guy. For a second one, is minus 1 minus this guy. So now, we can get, we actually have four pairs of solutions. The first one is negative 1 minus this one is actually negative 1 minus square root 17 just its conjugate. And with our y minus 1 plus square root of 17 over 2.
and our second one. Negative 1 minus this guy is the conjugate of this one. It is negative 1 plus square root of 17 over 2 and negative 1 minus square root of 17 over 2. Of course, we also have another two solution pairs from our first case. They're both equal to 1 plus square root of 21 over 2 or 1 minus square root of 21 over 2. So four pairs of solutions. 1, 2, 3, 4. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.